Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Better Bots. Today, I'm super excited. We're going to be talking about how to maximize the daily sending limits for Google Workspace. So I wanted to make sure I pull up and go ahead and show you the daily sending limits for Gmail in general. So it says 2,000 per day per user account. So this is a limit per user account. Uh, and 500 for trial accounts. And for our purposes of what we need to worry about, 500 uh, for the trial accounts, that means free at gmail.com accounts and 2000 that uh, is usually for workspace accounts after you have had it, I believe for like 90 days or spent $100. Um, but that is the limit that we're going to be trying to get to uh, and keep in mind. So to make this happen, uh, a lot of you are probably thinking like, wow, I need to send out a lot more than 2000 a day or 2000 a day is going to make it super, super slow for the amount of sending that I really would like to do at scale. So uh, that is where high level workflows comes into play. So you see here, I have a go high level workflow uh, template built out here. And basically the way that this workflow works is of course you have your uh, mymailgenius.com slash campaigns webhook. And this is so that we can keep up with every email that gets opened in your sending campaign. Uh, and then from there, we're basically going to do a quick little split sender assignation. So what this is going to do is this is going to take all the senders in your account um, and I think I actually have another one opened up here. Give me one second. So if you have a couple of senders actually uh, added into here, these are actually go high level account users. So these are the sub account users here. Uh, and so you'll split across these users. And then as you split across these users, you'll set a if conditional. So this if conditional says, is this uh, contact assigned to user one? Um, and basically that conditional just looks like this. If the user is empty and the user includes whoever the user is, that user one is. So in actual practicality, what this looks like is this is, is the assigned user not empty and does it include whoever user one is in your situation and ours, it is Aryan. If, uh, the user does include Aryan, then we're going to send from the user one email. And so that is what you would do here is you would come, uh, here to the conditional and you would just change out whatever this email address is going to be right here. The from name, make sure this matches what you have in Google workspace. Uh, and then just put your awesome subject and then put your template. Uh, and what this template does here, uh, is this basically pulls from the HTML builder that uh, go high level actually has natively. So here's a little example. Uh, of just, you know, a nice little HTML no code builder that you can use with angle high level to actually send using these Google workspace accounts. So you would do this split for every uh, Google workspace account that you have connected to this go high level sub account. Um, and that is how you would maximize the limits of every user. Now to actually make sure that we send across each of these users evenly, basically what we're going to do is we're going to come back over here and we're going to go to uh, like contacts, for example, and the way that you would add these contacts uh, in all reality, once you've selected all the records you're going to want to send to, you come here to this little add to campaign slash workflow bot guy, come here to OK, proceed. And then what you do is you click campaign workflow and you choose whichever uh, workflow it is that you set up, the name of the workflow that you set up. Uh, once you choose that workflow, you're going to choose to add in drip mode. And the good rule of thumb that I always say is if you're just starting out sending, you haven't been sending very much with this domain or with this Google Workspace account, make the batch quantity be one per user that you have. So if you have like from our template, our template has three users within that one workflow. So the batch quantity needs to be one per user. So that would be three. And then I would repeat, let's just start out safely with once every hour. Again, very, very, you want to start out super, super low. But eventually what you'll do is you'll maximize the window by setting it from, let's say, from a realistic window would be something like 5 a.m. to, let's say, maybe like 9 p.m. And that'll give you approximately, what is that, 16 hours a day uh, that you can send once per hour per user. So if you have three users in here and you want to send once per hour, you would just put one uh, per batch and then you would put once uh, per hour as the repeat after parameter. And then eventually you can just keep adding workspace users and you can keep increasing the batch quantity all the way up. I've, I've done it all the way up to five per batch quantity per user. So that, for example, with this would be 15 batch quantity um, and it repeated every 10 minutes. So every 10 minutes I had five uh, emails being sent per user. And so that made it so I was basically just emailing all day from that user. So keep in mind the daily uh, limits, keep in mind the, you know, there's like per minute limits and per second limits. So you don't want to get too crazy with it. 
but that is how you should be structuring it out so that you can maximize the amount of uh, sends per day per user that Google Workspace allots you. So I hope this makes sense. And if you guys would actually like to get this exact workflow, so if you want to have this exact workflow that I showed you here in the video, um, check out the link in the description. We're actually going to have uh, a little page that will give you this workflow for absolutely free. We're sharing the snapshot that has the workflow automation, and it also has uh, just the template email so that you can you know, kind of get an idea of where to start if i can get the ui to allow me to choose it sorry about that um so you'll actually get this basic outreach template as well as part of this uh, snapshot so if you want that totally free make sure you fill out your information down below um, as always please like and subscribe if you have any other questions any other concerns about how to use my mail genius please make sure you also sign up for the free knowledge hub also in the uh, description down below um, otherwise thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day